Welcome to Canva, CSU Extension's new online design platform. Today we're going to be talking about creating a design and particularly how to apply the CSU brand which has been preloaded into our platform to the templates that come with Canva. So to start, we've logged into Canva and we're looking at our homepage. Yours might look slightly different based on how much you've used Canva so far, but the basic navigation should be the same. We can either come up to create a design, this button in the top left corner, we can search for designs and templates, we can click one of these templates here, there's a variety of ways to start a project. But for simplicity, we're going to come up to create a design up here in the top left corner. We get a variety of options, which is really nice because Canva already automatically has loaded in the dimensions for different projects such as the Facebook cover or a Facebook post or an Instagram post, which would be a square orientation. Today, to keep things simple, we're going to start with a poster. Once I click poster, it opens up the design window. There's some basic navigation things we need to go over first within our design window. This is the active window in which we will be applying our designs and creating our marketing. Over here to the left is our navigation pane with a variety of options such as templates, photos, graphics, text, uploads, etc. Up here at the top we have our file menu that allows us to right away create a new design, we can save. One great thing about Canva is it saves automatically for you as your work, so hopefully you will never lose any of your data if you have a crash. You can also make a copy of your template. Let's say we've gone to a certain point in the template, but we want to tweak a second design and give maybe our director two different options. We can make a copy so it's nice and easy to change a couple things. Up here is our sharing and publishing window. We're going to skip this for now so that we can get into designing our poster. So starting over here, we're looking at a variety of templates that are preloaded into Canva. There's a lot of options and that can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm really excited that Extension will have a wide variety of choices so that our marketing from county to county or from PRU to PRU is nice and unique. So you can look through all of the options here and pick one to start with. Let's start here with garage sale. Once I click the template, it loads all of the elements into our editing window, and I'm going to click this hide button just to give us some more space. So now, being able to apply the CSU brand is really simple. All of the elements are preloaded into Canva. I've taken time to add in our fonts, our colors, and our logos. So to start, I'm going to click one of the elements. So right now I have this kind of marker swoosh across the middle of this design highlighted. We can see up here in the upper left corner our color is set to the orange default from the template. To change that we're going to click that color and automatically you see the CSU brand colors are already loaded in. To make sure that this is nice and CSU branded I might go ahead and click the CSU green and voila already it looks so much more CSU than it did previously. A simple easy step. Again we can click some of these other elements so I'm gonna highlight this and maybe change that to gold. We'll change this one down here and then let's change our background color to let's say white. Same thing for fonts. We just highlight the font that we want to edit and we can come up to our text color here and again, click from the preloaded in color palette. The other option we have for fonts is to change the font to one of the CSU branded fonts. Now this poster already looks really great in terms of CSU branding. There's a really great balance of green and white and gold, so we wouldn't have to apply the CSU fonts to this design. But if we want to, we can come up here to the click down menu to open up our fonts pane. Again, just like colors, we see brand fonts listed, and underneath that we have a variety of font choices. So our brand fonts are the three most commonly used fonts for the CSU brand, but then underneath uploaded fonts we have a variety of widths and strokes and styles underneath each of those Proxima Nova, Vitis, and 
Clavica fonts. So let's say we want to make this this a branded font. Let's make it Batiste book. All we have to do is click the font. The check mark lets us know it's activated. And I'm going to do maybe the same thing down here. Highlighting all. We'll change the color. We'll change the font. And perhaps need to move that down a bit. And there you go. Obviously, extension doesn't have many garage sales, but maybe we would have a farmer's market. Our font is a little too large, but that's okay. We can expand the window a bit, recenter. There you go. To load in a logo is another really easy step. Preload it into Canva. All you have to do is click folders. Here is going to depend on whether you're looking for the overall CSU extension logo or for a regional logo. So if I was working in Larimer County, again, for example, I would come into the Larimer County folder and Larimer County would have their logos loaded in. But today, for ease of this presentation, we're going to load in one of the main CSU logos, which is in our logos folder. If you're not familiar with our folder system, be sure to watch the folder tutorial video. So I'm going to click the logos folder and up comes the eight options for our extension logo. This one looks like there's a nice amount of space up here that a CSU extension logo in the stacked version, so the ram head with the center aligned logo might look nice. All again I have to do is click it. It automatically loads it into the center of my document. I can resize using our little corner and again voila. So easy peasy. That's how you can create any template within Canva using the CSU brand. I hope this has been helpful. Please make sure to watch our other tutorials and happy canvaing.